Look to our precious Jesus today who saves, heals, delivers, prospers, and blesses. This is your day for a miracle. Pastor Benny Hinn recently traveled to the nation of Brazil, conducting great miracle services in three cities with spectacular results. Over 135,000 attended services in Rio de Janeiro, Santa Catarina, and Sao Paulo, with each one producing amazing miracles of physical healing and new souls added to the kingdom of God in numbers too great to be counted. On today's program, you'll experience the second service in Sao Paulo, Brazil's largest city, where men, women, and children filled the stadium, seeking a touch of the Holy Spirit's anointing and an encounter with the saving, healing, and life-changing power of Jesus Christ. At the beginning of this service, Pastor Benny made an exciting announcement to the capacity audience. We just had an amazing miracle happen in the restaurant. Nós tivemos agora um milagre incrível ali no restaurante. Remember, lembre. Remember what I said last night at the end. Lembra quando eu falei ontem à noite no final do culto ontem? That the Lord is going to destroy witchcraft from Brazil. E Deus iria tirar esse espírito de feitiçaria do Brasil. Listen. Ouça. Last last night while we were ministering. Ontem à noite, enquanto estava ministrando, the mother of witchcraft in Brazil was watching. Uma mãe de santo aqui no Brasil estava assistindo na televisão. She put her hands on the screen. Ela colocou a mão dela na televisão, na tela. She felt fire in her. E ela sentiu um fogo no corpo dela. Wait, wait. Agora espere, espere. She flew in from Rio. Ela veio do Rio para São Paulo. Came to the restaurant where we were about two hours ago. Estava lá agora no restaurante onde eu ministrei há duas horas atrás. Because I was there ministering to preachers and business people eu about 5:30, 6 o'clock. Eu estava lá falando para homens de negócios e pastores a uh, mais ou menos cinco, era cinco horas da tarde. And she comes into the restaurant. E ela entra no restaurante. The power of God hit her. O poder de Deus tocou ela. Jesus, wait. The Lord healed her. Deus a curou. And she got saved. E ela ficou salva. Lord Jesus. Senhor Jesus. I give you my life. Eu te dou a minha vida. Wash me with your blood. Lava-me com teu sangue. Come into my heart. Entra no meu coração. Na minha família, na minha casa. I leave, I leave everything behind and follow you. Eu já deixei tudo para trás há um ano. Eu conheci essa igreja pela televisão. This lady was a was really a witch. And show here, you tell the people what. Yeah, ela era, no, no, ela in era English, in English, because some of them are. No, talk to our people. She was involved in witchcraft. Yeah, she was. In Brazil, we call she was a mother of it. She was the mother of yes. witchcraft, guys. Yes. You watching in Periscope, this lady was the mother of witchcraft in Brazil. Yes. God healed her without us knowing. The pain is gone from her body. She's on her knees and just gave her life to Jesus Christ. Deu a vida para Jesus. Aleluia. The Lord. Deus has done the greatest miracle for you. Já fez vários milagres para você, tá? It's not your healing that matters. Não é a sua cura que interessa. Is that now you are his child? É que agora você é filha dele. One time, uh, one time she served the devil. Há um tempo atrás ela serviu ao diabo. Now she's serving Jesus. Agora ela serve Jesus. Wait, wait, wait. You re remember last there's, night? There's people watching us yeah. around the world on Periscope, so you need to speak English too. Okay, last night, you at the stadium, you said, well, I rebuke the spirit of witchcraft. So now she came, she's free. Onde ele falou lá no estádio que a feitiçaria iria cair por terra no Brasil? 
she was on television. She was on television last night. Yeah, last night. Yeah. Yeah, I told you. And stop in casa TV. Yeah. She yeah. lives in Rio. And last night she was watching TV last night, and then she came in today. Yeah. Hallelujah. Father, bye. Come on, stretch around towards. Bate todo mundo, estende a mão em direção à senhora, oh. por favor. Fill her with the Holy Ghost. Enche ela com o Espírito Santo. Jesus name. Touch. Yeah. É um grito de aleluia. Dá um grito de aleluia aí. The mother of witchcraft in Brazil is now a child of God. Uma mãe de santo aqui do Brasil agora é uma filha do Deus vivo. Energized by this announcement, the vast audience enthusiastically followed Pastor Benny's lead in worship, and they hung on every word as he delivered a powerful message which lifted their faith to believe that one touch from Jesus would bring healing and wholeness just as it did 2,000 years ago. And the results of their attention were spectacular, as a seemingly endless procession of those who received a miraculous touch in their physical bodies made their way to the platform. She had a tumor in her stomach. She can't feel it anymore. Ela, the pain is gone. Ela tem um, um câncer no estômago. Jesus, let all heaven, let the earth proclaim. Kings and kingdoms, oh, they'll all pass away. But there's something. So she had, Jim, she had like a tumor. She had a tumor in her stomach. She can't find it. She cannot find it in the, in the pain. Ela tinha um câncer, mas ela não consegue encontrar mais. A dor foi embora. Jesus is the sweetest name I know. What happened? And he's just the same. That's the reason why I love him so, Lord Jesus. Give me that handkerchief. It's the sweetest and the one in, in his hand. Hey, brother. Hey, mom. Jesus. So this lady right here, she's had a lot of back pains. Muita dor nas wait, 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 wait. He can do it in, in Portuguese and English. So she's had back pain for more than a year. She couldn't even bend, but right now she can bend. Okay. Now tell him in Portuguese. Por mais de um ano, essa senhora aqui não poderia nem se dobrar porque ela tinha muitas dores nas costas. Mas a partir de hoje ela disse que já pode. Jesus, you're the sweetest name I know. Can you do a hierarchy? Jesus, you're the sweetest name. What, what, what are you feeling on you? Can you ask what she's feeling on her? What are you feeling on her? She's feeling the heat, very strong. Calor, calor, like. Yeah, heat. Well, that's why the Lord's healing her. Oh. Touch. For Jesus. Whoa. Listen, listen. there's power here. Tem poder aqui. Lift your hands and take Levante it. Levante a sua mão e receba também. Jesus, you're the sweetest name I know. Here. So for more than five years, she's had to deal with uh, osteoporosis. All wow. over her body, she had a lot of pain, especially in her backside. But she said that once she started praying, she also felt that heat. And once she felt that heat, all the pain disappeared. Portuguese. 
Ela tinha osteoporose por mais de cinco anos. Sentia dores nas costas e, e, e quando passou começou a orar, ela também sentiu o calor e uma vez que sentiu o calor, toda a dor foi embora. Marisaia To be like Jesus My desire To be like Him His Spirit fills me His love overwhelms me In word and deed In word and deed In word and deed to be my dear, my wonderful Lord. Wow. Pastor, for three years, oh, três anos, she had a tumor in her breast. Ela tem um tumor It's completely no gone tonight. E já foi embora hoje. Where was the tumor? Onde estava o tumor? No seio. She had a lot of pain. Now she doesn't feel anything anymore. The pain is gone. She doesn't feel anything. Is it all gone? All gone. Foi tudo embora? Where did it leave? Quando que foi embora? Que mom? Agora quando aconteceu o quê? When you pray, Pastor. When you pray. Is this your husband? Is this is your seu marido? My wonderful Lord. See how wonderful it is. My wonderful Lord. Sweet wonderful Lord. My angels by cells in all heaven adore. Since I yielded control of my body and soul. What, what you feel on you? O que, que você está sentindo em você? Você consegue explicar? Can't describe. Você não pode descrever. Can't describe. You are holy. So very holy. Touch her. What I said. Wait, go wait a second. This girl is having a beautiful experience. Essa moça está tendo uma experiência maravilhosa. A husband, a marido, pick her up. Por favor, pegue ela. No, Levante no, ela. The husband. O marido que é para pegar. O marido. Come stand here. Fica em pé aqui, por favor, chega para cá. Yeah, you stand there. Você fica mais afastado. Listen. Ouça. You're gonna feel the power of God. Você vai sentir o poder de Deus. Hit you. Tocar em você. It's gonna almost be like slow motion. Você vai sentir como se fosse assim, câmera lenta. And everything that is wrong with you. E tudo que está errado com você. He's gonna fix it. Vai sair agora. You are holy. Você é santa. You are holy. Você é Feel that? Você sente? 
you the hand behind you. Você sente essa mão atrás de você? Você consegue sentir minha mão atrás de você? Nas suas costas. Can you describe it? Você consegue descrever? Não. Sim. The power of God is poder, through her, and I can literally feel a hand eu posso sentir uma mão holding her back. segurando as costas dela. It's like the Lord is hugging her. É como se Deus estivesse abraçando ela. Why don't you lift your hands and thank him? Por que você não levante a sua mão e agradeça a ele? Now tell me, tell me. Diga. You feel it? Você tá sentindo? You feel a hand on your back? Você consegue sentir uma mão nas suas costas? Where? Onde? It's like the Lord is touching her. É quando Deus está te tocando aqui. And it's too holy because she. And you're you're feeling a numbness. Ela está sentindo uma bandeja. Tá on your body. No seu corpo. Can you describe it? Você pode descrever. The numbness. Você consegue descrever? I, I feel a, a hand behind me in a fire. It's on that hand. Lift your hands and ask God to touch you like that. Levante a sua mão e peça a Deus para te tocar agora. You sweet people watching on television in your homes, in the studio here, places packed with people praying for you. That God would heal you today. You just seen God's power. Believe God today to touch you. He's able to do exceeding abundantly above all we ask or think. He said, I am the God that healeth thee. Today, whether you're sick in body or afflicted in some way, maybe mentally, emotionally, He promised, I will heal thee of thy wounds. And he promised he's our healer, not only in our emotions and mind, but also in our body. So as the people are praying for you, I want to believe God to heal you right now. So all of you stretch your hands up to glory and keep praying. And you sweet people in your homes, just stretch your hands towards me right now. I'm believing God for you. If two of you shall agree, the Lord said in Matthew 18, it shall be done. We come in agreement, Lord. That sickness will be gone today for good forever. That disease will be canceled from their body for good and ever. Lord, your people agree with me right now that that healing will take place in the life of that one watching the program. We command that disease to go in the name of Jesus. Skin cancer is being healed. Thank you, Lord. Diabetes. Thank you, Lord. It's a lady named Vera, Vera with diabetes. We rebuke that diabetes in Jesus' name in your life, Vera. Cancer of the throat, I rebuke it in the name of the Lord. A lady on a wheelchair, you broke your hip, your right hip. Father, heal her today. Let this be her day. A miracle. A young man on, 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 on drugs, George. Somebody has a son named George on drugs. We command that addiction to be broken in the name of the Lord. Agree with me, saints, in the studio. We break this addiction in Jesus' name on every person, whether it's George or somebody else. Receive your deliverance in Jesus' mighty name. Listen, the greatest miracle is salvation. So all of you pray with me, and you in your homes pray. If, if, you, want to, if you want to receive the Lord, just, just say out loud, Dear Jesus, I'm a sinner. I need you now, Lord. Come into my heart. Forgive all my sin. Every one of them. Cleanse me with your precious blood. Make me whole, Lord. Come into my life. I surrender now. Oh, blessed Holy Spirit, 
anoint my life to live for Jesus all the days of my life. In his mighty name. Somebody say praise the Lord. If you prayed with Pastor Benny to receive Jesus as your personal Savior during today's program, he would like for you to have The Greatest Miracle, a booklet which will help you begin to live your new Christian life. It is a free gift from Pastor Benny, so visit the ministry website today and request your copy. This week, Pastor Benny Hinn will conduct his great Good Friday service in California, and tens of thousands of names from around the world have already been placed on this altar for a time of special prayer. Stay tuned to find out how your name can be added today in time for Friday service. We are hours away from Passover. We as Christians celebrate it this Easter weekend. This is the time in which God observes and looks and says, honor my Passover. The Bible says it's his holy day. It's a very special day. You remember the first Passover when, when God was wanting to deliver the people out of bondage and sicknesses and slavery. He said to Moses, tell the people to put blood on the doorpost. Then a death angel came at midnight, and when they saw the blood, or the angel saw the blood on the doorpost, the angel passed over. Jesus died on the cross. He became our Passover lamb. When we apply his blood, we are in the position to be obedient to God. The Bible said, I want you to remember, I want you to remember Passover forever. When you read the Holy Scriptures, you will discover it says, remember this forever. This is what God said. God said, if you remember the Passover, and you will stand before me with an offering. And God goes so far to say these words in Deuteronomy 16, 16, do not stand empty-handed. Evidently, God knows that there are seed in your hand. And the Bible says he will do several things. The first thing he does is he dispatches an angel. Think about this. In the next few hours, if you are obedient and you stand before the Lord with the Passover offering, think about the angel of the Lord. For the Bible says, I will send an angel before thee. I will dispatch an angel and he will lead thee. In fact, in Exodus, it teaches us, for a whole year at the time of Passover. In the next few hours, if the offering is on the altar, from your hands to the altar, that angel, the Bible tells us, will destroy your enemies, will take sickness out of the midst of these. I'm, I'm looking directly at you. You're looking directly at the television set or screen, and you're hearing me. You are the one in which God is speaking to and is saying, I want to heal you. The Bible said he brings prosperity. The Bible said he leads you. The Bible said he destroys your enemy. You, just you, you are about to come into the most incredible increase hours from now. Think about the fact that in the next few hours, because of your obedience, you stand before the Lord with an offering. And when you do that, God says, I want you to do this. I want you to do that. I want you to bring prosperity. I want you to remove the cancer. I want you to remove the high blood pressure. I want you to remove the sickle cell anemia. I want you to heal their blood. He's dispatching that angel according to those that say, I honor your holy day, Passover. Now, in the next few hours, I mean, right now as I'm talking with urgency this very week, stand before the Lord. And here at Benny Hinn's ministry, there is an altar. And Pastor Hinn is going to put that offering on the altar to offer it before the Lord. I need you to go now. Text. Begin to text even while I'm talking. I'm only going to be on a few seconds. And I'm releasing now the word of the Lord for you. It's not a coincidence. You and I 
are seeing. I, I just see in the Spirit you by faith, and you're seeing me, and you're hearing, and God put us together, and God is saying, stand before me. I know somebody's asking, what do I give? How much should I give? Well, that's totally up to you, but I sense in my spirit $300, $150 in this hand, $150 in this hand. I sense that when you stand before the Lord, whatever that amount is, text right now. You can do it right now to release it from your hands to the altar. Text it to this ministry. Get on the phone right now as we are waiting, as we are waiting. And as this program goes off, we are, we are by the phone waiting for you to say, I'm going to be obedient because hours from now, the end of this week, an angel is coming and God is dispatching the miracles you have been believing God for. Listen to me. In the next few moments and hours and by the end of this week, your miracle is going to happen. Do it now. Last week, Pastor Benny Hinn was in Jerusalem, Israel. He took thousands of names sent to him from around the world to the Wailing Wall in fulfillment of his promise to those who had given their Passover offerings. And I ask you for a miracle to take place in their life. Every need be answered, every cry heard. In the name of the Lord Jesus, for your glory and honor. They're from everywhere, Argentina, they're from Argentina. Bahamas, they're from Jamaica, Colombia, Mexico, Paraguay, many, many from the United States, yeah? many from the United States. Now what do you do with these? You will, you will bear them on the, on the Mount of Olives? Or after, what? After. after, yeah. These names have also been sent to the studio in California and placed on this altar to be prayed over again during the Good Friday service, which takes place in two days. And it's not too late for your name to be sent to Jerusalem and added to the altar. Yesterday, I was at the Wailing Wall. I gave your name to the rabbi, and then he looks at me and says, you know, he says, if you send me the names of people on email, I'll put them here every time you send them. I said, rabbi, we got a deal. There is still time for your name to be included for prayer in Jerusalem and during this week's Good Friday service. But you must act now by giving your Passover offering. Your gift of $300 or other significant amount will activate God's promises of blessing in your life. Then Pastor Benny will send your name to Jerusalem and pray for you this Friday. Call, text, or give online today.